Hey there, this is Robert from the Evolution Store. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. So we have all sorts of things here that you can get uh, as a gift for that special someone that might not be, you know, you know, might be not necessarily traditional, like kind of different, kind of cool if you're into that. But if you're looking for something that, you know, maybe different and also traditional, we have, you know, one thing that comes to mind that we have is jewelry, right? And we have tons of jewelry. Now check it out. This is, a. Uh, you know, a lot of most of our jewelry, right? Uh, but uh, I only have about three or four pieces that I'm going to show you today. You know, obviously, I can't get to every single one of these, so I picked out a couple ones that I like that are my favorites. Um, these, while we're here though, these ones I really like. Uh, I got this for my mom. One of these necklaces is a Cobra Vertebra necklaces. We also have bracelets. Um, my mom really likes this. Uh, she she was really happy with that gift I got her for Mother's Day, and uh, she also wears it as a headband, so it's versatile. You know, you can use it for different things. And these are real cobra vertebra. So other than these guys here, the ones that I pulled out that I want to show you are over here. Okay, so uh, we've got three or four here, right? Uh, I figured I'd pick pull out you know some earrings, a ring, and a necklace for you guys, right? Have a whole set here. Um, I'm a little bit biased. I study paleontology, so I pulled out the fossil-related ones. Um, uh, I'll start here with the earrings. Uh, so we have some fossil shark teeth earrings for $59. Now these are uh, going to be these are going to be the snaggletooth shark uh, teeth, right? Uh, I pulled up on the internet, I found a picture of it, and you know how big it was. This is one of the big extinct species, it's not around anymore. Uh, we do have snaggletooth sharks, they're a lot smaller now, um, still a lot living on Earth today, right? Um, but I just think it's really cool because of these really cool serrations here on the side, but also the idea that, you know, these are, these are real fossils, you know, how many people have something like that? Um, the other ones here, Another fossil earrings that we have right in front of us are trilobites. Right? Now trilobites are a pretty notable, pretty important fossil. Uh, you've probably seen these guys before. These little critters, uh, they went extinct during the Permian extinction, which is the largest extinction of all time. About 90, around 90% of biodiversity went extinct. Um, and that's because Pangaea was breaking up and there were earthquakes and volcanoes and all sorts of chaos going on, right? And a lot of that, you know, that's putting a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, into the oceans. And, you know, when that happens, you know, carbon dioxide makes solutions acidic, right? So the oceans turned a little bit more acidic than they should have been, right? Uh, it kind of turned to acid, essentially. And a lot of things died. Most things lived in the water at that time. Uh, you know, there were, uh, some reptiles and amphibians and certain things like that on land, uh, plants and stuff. But most of everything, you know, started in the oceans, was still living in the oceans. That's why it was so devastating. Uh, it is a little bit of a mystery, you know, there were some things like, um, after, a little bit after, decent amount after, uh, trilobites evolved, uh, horseshoe crabs also evolved. And they went through the Permian extinction too, but they did not perish. Um, it's kind of a mystery, you know, what, what was special about them? Why didn't they, uh, why didn't they die? Because we still have horseshoe crabs today. In fact, we have some sterling silver horseshoe crab earrings that you guys can purchase as well. Um, you know, the KT event, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, that gets all the credit probably because it's, you know, you know, it killed the dinosaurs, right? Everybody, everybody knows dinosaurs and everybody knows why they went extinct uh, for the most part. Uh, so that one gets all the credit, but this was the big extinction, and these are one of the guys that, that uh, we lost in that, right? And, you know, I also have a trilobite ring here. Uh, now this is not a fossil. It's made to look like a fossil, but it's a really nice piece of jewelry, really well-crafted, really cool. I like the sides, too. A uh, nice weight to it. Um, a really cool looking ring. So I figured I'd pull that out too, you know, so you can maybe think of a set. You can get your trilobite earrings with your trilobite ring. Um, I just think that that's a pretty cool look. Um, and, and a unique look too, right? Uh, now my favorite thing we have, my favorite piece of jewelry we have, I think, 
uh, and it's it was hard to pick just one that personally is my favorite is this Smilodon necklace, right? Uh, now Smilodons, otherwise known as saber-toothed tigers, uh, were the apex predator uh, in, of North America, but also a lot of other places on Earth. And I think this one's particularly cool, not only because it just looks pretty cool, looks pretty metal, looks pretty awesome uh, alone, just you know by itself, but it also has a really cool feature that you might not notice at first glance. It's jaw moves, see? Kind of hard to see with my fingers. Let me try to get it so you can see it well. There we go. See, it's kind of opening up its mouth. Its bottom jaw is moving up and down, just like it would in real life. Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite for not only the fact that it just looks cool, but that it's, you know, really, really neat. So, um, definitely come down, check all these out. You know, this is just one of the many, or sorry, four of the many very neat uh, pieces of jewelry that we have. We got you know, all sorts of stuff over here, but Valentine's Day is coming up. You know, it's not, it's not too far away, so you don't have too much time. Um, be sure to also check out our website, check out our Instagram, um, all our social media. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'll see you around, okay?